my app has been successfully submitted to the App Store. Yeah, so I, I did it. I did it and what I wanna say is if I can do it, you can do it. Yes, it's been frustrating at points along the way. Yes, there were points where I wondered if I was smart enough and I wanted to quit. But if you persevere through it and if you really want it, you can do it. I believe you can do it if you. this is what you want, if it's your passion and you stick with it, then you can do it. I have been making a lot of videos on productivity, so the things that I talk about in those videos are what have helped me to get to this point. Once you submit your first app, it's like a rites of passage. I was listening to some podcasts that morning and I felt a part of it and now it's just this new whole new frontier now has arisen in front of me i have that solid foundation now from which to build upon so when it comes time to submit your app to the app store you're probably going to be pretty tired at that point i was it had been a long hard <laughs> journey and so you can have a tendency to want to rush the submitting process. Don't. Take a pause, take a breath, and just do it properly. If you look at the reasons why a lot of apps don't get approval is because it can be just little things like not taking proper screenshots and not having a proper description. So in regards to the screenshots, I made sure I took at least two and I looked at other apps that were like mine to see what they, to see what other people were writing in the description. I made some notes and then I built a good description around that. There are a quite a lot of steps you need to go through. You don't just need a de developer license, you need a distribution license as well. The developer license is $99 per year. Once you've got that, you sign up with iTunes Connect, you get the distribution license, then you need to go through some authentication steps. I'll leave some links in the video description of a couple of tutorials that I used to good effect. But if you're gonna be submitting your app six months from now, the process may have changed. It more than likely will have changed, so bear that in mind. If your app doesn't get approval, don't be butting heads with the Apple developers, okay? Don't play victim and be negative. Stay positive, okay? Work with the Apple developers. Hopefully they'll give you some feedback Apparently they will give you some feedback as to why you didn't get approval. So the important thing is to keep calm and keep positive and there's a good chance that you can get it resolved, submit it again and you'll get approval. I submitted the app on Saturday and I got approval on Tuesday. Nowadays you can get approval within seven days. I'm not sure if they guarantee it, but I know that Apple have stepped up their game in that regard. So if you want to check out my app, you can go to the App Store and do a search for Old Maca Dental. One of the things that I didn't want is to have my full name appear under the app description on the store. I wanted my company name there. Now it may be different depending on your country, but here in the UK, I think it's the same in the US, if you want your company name, you need to be registered as a limited company. Here in the UK, you can either be registered as a sole trader or as a limited company. Now, I'm a sole trader. Things like VAT don't come into play for me. But now I'm going to have to, well, not have to, it's going to be an exciting journey of registering my company as a limited company and then I can have my company name under there. So that was just a little thing that I learned and there's going to be much more things I'll learn. You, the way I've done it is I've submitted the app using my own developer account, but I could have got the client to set up their own developer account and they would have their name or company name or uh, appear under the description. That's another way to do it. You can set it up in your own developer account and then transfer it to their account. This is what I've learned after having submitted it. So there's much more to learn. I don't know what his best practices, 
but I'll know that I'll find out as I move forwards on this journey. I'm, I'm going to leave it there until next time. Keep the momentum going, be consistent, look after yourself and I'll catch you later. Peace.